This story is called The Little Red Hen. This is the front of the book, the back of the book, and the spine. The Little Red Hen. One day, the Little Red Hen found a grain of wheat in the farmyard. Who will help me plant it, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. I will plant it myself, she said. Soon the wheat was tall and ripe. Look at how tall the wheat is. She planted that seed and it grew so tall. Who will help me cut the wheat? She asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. I will cut it myself, she said. And she cut it by herself. See how she's using that to cut the wheat? They didn't want to help her. Who will help me thresh it, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. I will thresh it myself, she said. And there she is. She's pulling the wheat apart because she's going to bake something. Let's see what she's going to make. Her friends didn't want to help her. That's not nice. Who will help me turn the wheat into flour? She asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. I will do it myself. And so now she took the wheat and she made it into flour. We, we use flour for cooking. Who will help me make the bread, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Then I will make it myself. So she took the wheat and she used that to make some bread. And her friends, they didn't help her. She did it all by herself. The little red hen baked a lovely loaf of bread. I will help you eat it, said the duck. I will help you eat it, said the cat. I will help you eat it, said the dog. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. I and my chicks will eat the bread. And she sh shared it with her three little babies and not with her friends because they did not help her. They didn't help her do any of the things that she needed to do. The end.